no, no way. I need to um, change. So I actually break through my introvert personality. That's an interesting fact about you, isn't it? You were very reserved, yes. very introverted in that sense. Yeah. Today, you tend to be more outgoing. More outgoing, yes. Uh, not simply because of your real estate job requirements mm. to be outgoing and talk to customers, mm. but also the, your, your, your determination, the perseverance to yes. want to break out from Want your... to break out from the shell, basically. Yes. Yeah, because I realised as I grow in my career, I want to build a team. That's If right. I don't speak out, uh, that's it. How to build a team. Everyone should have this kind of uh, aspiration to progress. This is what I feel. Yes, mm. yes, it's important to keep learning and keep growing in yeah. terms whether it's in your career life, in your uh, profession, or whether mm -hmm. it's in your family life, right? You also yes. want the best for your family, isn't it? Right. I have two um, causes. Right. So, first one is on uh, my first asset. The second one is actually asset rejuvenation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, basically for my first asset, it is for those um, below the age of 35. Uh, if they are looking for their first property, most of us Singaporeans will be actually thinking of having a HDB, HDB BTO first. Yes, first step, right? Yes, yes. I mean, typical Singaporeans will think of that as a first step and That's because right. of the grant and then the, it's a subsidized flat from HDB. So, That's right. But through my training, right, actually, I want to break this myth because we should actually progress faster in our career path. Because now, to be frank, actually, those um, who graduate from poly, uh, I mean even like the uni, tertiary education, this, their starting pay is already higher already. Yes, yes. So when we do the calculation for them, actually they can actually start off with an EC, executive condominium, else they can even go for a private condo, resale condo. Yeah, because to be frank with the calculations that um, I'll be touching on, actually it can it, it will be actually quite easy for them to actually afford. Yeah. yeah. So that one, the first asset actually is to break the myth of whether you, you should get a HDB BTO first or not. So yeah. in the course itself, this is my first asset mm -hmm. uh, progression. It is in the course itself, you actually lay out for me and do a comparison, right? If yes, I were to go the right. BTO route mm -hmm. versus I go the EC route yes. or even jump straight into private property, right. you actually break this down for me, right? right. What are my the choices? The pros and cons, yes. And the, the pros restrictions, and cons, right? yes. And it's, it's very important for ERA teammates to pick up such knowledge. Yes, as well. correct. Asset rejuvenation, okay, we will be touching on like, um whether you are going to be working on financial freedom or not. So, for my course, I will talk about things like when this property have this lease decay, whether the value will depreciate, or whether you want to buy a newer one to rejuvenate so that the, you can preserve the value of the mm. of your wealth like, in that mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. So that course will touch a lot on this. The value of assets are quite important, right? Right. In order to have, whether it's a meager retirement or comfortable retirement. That's right. It's really your mm -hmm. choice that you make right now. Yeah, right? make right now, right? that's right. Yeah. The more we share, the more, um, of, the more of us will benefit and more Singaporeans will actually benefit from there. Mm. Yeah, so to be frank, I mean this kind of um, calculation, right? It will be good that the more people is aware, then there will be transactions going on. Mm. I mean, this is what I feel because if we don't educate our consumers, and they, when they reach age 65, they'll be left out. Yeah, so I believe while I still can, I. I want to share my knowledge. Yeah. yeah, this is like a vaccination, you know. Mm -hmm. The more people who are vaccinated, we reach herd immune. immunity, <laughs> uh, then everybody will actually benefit from it, right? right. Thank you so much, yeah, Edmund, for coming by. Thank you for the conversation. Yeah.